Carry on my wayward son There will be peace when you are done Lay your weary head to rest Don't you cry no more Hey guys, I'm Vasco and today I'll show you how I'm playing Carry On Wayward Son by Kansas on the ukulele. This song was requested so many times, so here it is. Uh, it has plenty of parts. I'll show you how to play it very beginner friendly and also after that little by little I'll show you all of the possible parts and there are quite a lot in this song. We'll be doing it in the original key that the song is published in so it will be super easy for you to practice after that and also I'm using a high G string ukulele and this is one of these tutorials that we actually need the high G we need it for this little thing but I'll show it to you in a little bit first make sure you hit the like button and let's go Okay, so the song starts with this a cappella chorus, but in the intro I actually played the chords that after that we're using when we're playing and singing the chords, which are A minor, carry on to C, to G, to F. All right, first time is this thing. Carry on my way, word song. The second time, you stop on G and just do it twice. And then the third time, A minor to C to G to F and then just F, one down strum on F. Don't you cry no more. All right, let's see how this goes. Carry on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest Don't you cry no more And here we start the riff one Okay, so we have a few different riffs and a few different breaks uh, We will use this uh, terminology, I made it up I'm not sure which exactly is supposed to be the riff I don't know, just this is how we will be naming them for this tutorial, alright? But before we go to the riff, let me show you the underlying chords. So if the riff is too complicated for you, you can still make the song. So it's A minor. And you start all over. Notice that these are just three bars, all right? So it's a little something. Let's see how it goes. All right, but now let me come a little bit closer to show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so we start with the A string open, G string open, A string open again, and then grabbing A minor, but with the ring finger right here on the third fret of the a string, okay? And then again, open A, open G, open A, and then we are grabbing D chord like this with a bar. All right? And here is the cool part. You slide the ring finger up here to the 12th fret. Okay? And then barring right here. All right, A string. Then playing again the E string on the 12th fret and pulling the string with the ring finger. Okay? And then slapping it on top of the C string 12th fret. Okay? So, for now we have. And then while we are holding this thing, we do E string and then G string open. Okay? We move to the D chord doing A string, E string, 
and we restart it all over. Alright, and after that we have the break one for which basically we are just doing E minor, but I'm doing two different shapes. Okay, so the normal one, and I'm doing down, down, and then up here on the 7th fret and leaving the G string open, alright, barring the 7th fret. Okay. Dum -dum. All right, let me come a little bit closer now to show you this. And by the way, if you follow the link below this video, there is a printable that you can download where all the riffs are written down exactly where they are supposed to be in between the lyrics and the chords. So if you want to get it, just follow the link in the description. Break one. We are playing two times just the E string. And what I'm doing here is I'm leaving my fingers here on the 7th fret, getting ready to grab this E minor, but actually I'm not pressing with them. I'm just making sure that while I'm strumming here, that I'm not playing them, okay? All right, and then, okay. And here's another tricky part. We do like this on the C string, sliding from 9th to 11th, then barring with the middle finger on the 10th fret and doing E, A, E and with the pinky on the E string 12th fret. Okay, so getting back. This time the only difference is that I'm putting the ring finger right here just for one strum, okay? And doing the same. Okay, so let's see how this goes. One more time. Okay, and after we do the break one, we get back to reef one. And after that, we have break two, which is basically the same thing, it just ends differently. Okay, so. And here you do. A minor to G to F. Okay. And you start the verse. Now, on the first verse, I'm doing just some picking pattern. A minor to G to F to G. And again, A minor. Then D minor to C to B flat, B flat to C and D minor to C to G. This is the verse and after that it's repeated one more time but then I start strumming and I'm doing something like down, down, up on every chord. Da, 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 da. After that, we go to the chorus, which we already saw. Carry on my way, what's on? There'll be peace when you are down. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. And here we go to another verse, then we have another chorus, and then you can just do the lyrics with verses and chorus, and you can do it like that. But also there are more parts that I'll try to show you now. At this point, actually we go to riff two, which I'm coming a little bit closer to show you. It's basically over A minor. So we are grabbing here on the ninth fret, the pointing finger, 
and the middle finger goes on the 10th fret on the E and A string. And here we have a sequence of hammer-ons and pull-ups with the pinky. And I know that this is hard, but if you practice it, it will happen. So let me show it to you. Okay, so basically after you have grabbed like this, the pinky just goes on the 12th fret on every string. On the A string first, playing it, then pulling, then on the E string, playing, pulling, then on the C string, and then again C string, 12th fret, to 9th fret, and then we do this, 7, 9 on the C string, 10, eight on the E string, so. And again. Last time. Okay, and after that we have the break three, which is basically over E major this time. Okay, break three for me is the most challenging one. We start with the E grabbed right here on the fourth fret of the C string, and then we do seventh fret on the A string, and then it's on the off beat, one and two and three and four and, and then fifth fret, C string seventh fret, and then fifth fret of the A string, and then reach right here to the tenth fret. Okay. The tenth fret is coming a little bit earlier. So, and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then the second time, it's a little bit different. It starts the same. And here it changes. We play fifth fret of the A string and then sixth fret of the C string, seven, then four on the E string and eight, okay? So the whole thing together slowly. And we are doing riff two to break three. Riff two, break three, riff one. And then we have the little bridge, which is basically with the same chords as the verse, but it starts with two down strums. Carry on. And then from this po point, it continues the same. And after that, we do again break one. And then we have the riff three, uh, which is the last one. And it sounds something like F sharp minor. And then to A major to E major. Okay, but let me come a little bit closer to show you the tap for it. All right, riff three. All right, so we grab F sharp minor and then on the E string second, open, C string first, and again. And then I do a little mute, very quickly up on the A chord. One more time, and then the same thing on the E chord. So slowly. Okay. Okay, so we are doing break one, riff three, again, break one, riff three, 
over which there are some solos. And the very end of the song is again this thing that we have in the very beginning before the first verse that is which is A minor to G to F. And this is how the song ends. Oh, that's, that's a long tutorial. Well, that's a complicated song to learn, but I'm pretty sure that some of you really want to learn it. So here, I lay you all the parts. Let me know if you do it. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and you'll see me on the next video. Goodbye.